I have a little announcement to share. We got a new maid. Her name is first week of school, my plan is to take it easy, maybe do school for two days just to get into the swing of things. Since now I'm gonna be extremely busy doing school with the kids in the mornings and afternoons, I'm not gonna have much time to be sweeping and mopping and cleaning this house. So we got a new maid. Her name is Eva and she has been working here for almost a week now, just kind of getting the feel of the place, working out a schedule, and yeah, it's been so far really nice. And I would like to introduce you to her, but right now she is vacuuming the boys' room, so when she's done with that, I'll introduce you guys to her. Till then, we are gonna be getting school done. So far, looks like Micah is doing math, but he's creating some kind of, I don't know, are you building some kind of spaceship over here, or what? This is like, what is masterpiece. A masterpiece? What is it? Um, I call it my A21. A21? Yeah. So Micah here has his math. He is doing beta, Matthew C, and it comes with these blocks, and he uses them for counting, but, you know, I leave him for a second, and he's building some kind of spaceship. Oh, Micah, what's in this thing? What do you have here? Oh, here, open the lid. I'm gonna look inside. Okay. Yeah, open the lid. I'm gonna look inside. Hold it still. What are those? Prey mantis. Do you have two of them? One's like a green. Four. four. Yeah, one back there. Right there. So Micah likes to keep his bug cage close to him in the house. Uh oh. Keep it close because um that one always fly. Last time I fly out and I caught it back. Good, good job. All right, Jay, are you starting school for the first time this year? You starting in kindergarten, aren't you? What are you making? What are you making? <laughs> All right, how about you show me what's on the board over there? Okay. So is this your calendar? Is that what you do during the morning? You get to see what the weather is, and then you see um, what the date is. Whose name is that? Micah. Whose name is that? Jill. It's Jill. No, that have my name. That have a little of my name, but it means saying a cut. My cut. Yeah, right. So all what is all this stuff. stuff up here, Micah? Are oh. those your spelling words? Um, bat, um, cat, um, fat, fat. and That's cat. Me. Nice. Jaira and Sophia right now are doing Spelling You See. They're working on that. And Micah, what are you doing? Teaching Jair how to write his name? <laughs> These chalkboards are magnetic. So we have a whole bunch of little magnets, some of these. So the kids usually like to throw those on. <laughs> so we also like to do a fun thing for PE. I do like a target. So Jair has a whole bunch of magnets. And we're gonna show you what it looks like to yeah, throw what? them at the target and <laughs> see what they're gonna be doing for PE. So, Jir, go first and we'll see what you're gonna be doing for PE. Oh, oh, oh. oh. you can go again. You can go again until you land on one. Oh, looks like Jir gets to go biking. Oh, Micah gets to go jump on the trampoline. All right. Oh, oh, running. Oh, running. Dyer's running. Oh. Running. The girls are going to go running together. Oh. Okay, throw it at the board. Oh! You're going to go biking? Go do a loop around. Wait, she has her shoes on. Good job. Good job. Come on. Are you done? All right. I 
vacuuming the boys' room. She should be out here shortly. So, oh, she's she's already here. Oh, hello. Oh, there she is. <laughs> but you guys weren't expecting a vacuum. <laughs> So she might not seem like a housemaid to you, but she is not your average robot vacuum. She sweeps, vacuums, and mops. So I wanna show you another thing that makes this vacuum really awesome. Before we go any further, Royd Me reached out to us and asked if we wanted to try out their newly released self-cleaning and self-emptying robot vacuum. Yeah. After Eva is done vacuuming the house or mopping, she will dock herself. The cool thing is, she's going to self-empty. That means that she will take all the garbage that she collected through the house and it gets sucked into a garbage bag. And if she was mopping, clean water is sprayed on the mops and washes off any dirt and all the dirty water gets sucked up to the dirty water tank. So I am not emptying her often. I think it's several weeks before I have to check the water or empty a bag, depending on how bad your house is. It's really cool because it has a digital screen and it talks about exactly what it's doing. Inside this lid, we have the dirty water tank, the clean water, and the garbage bag. I can set schedules. So if I have to have her cleaning in the morning time, she will start cleaning. On the top of the vacuum, there's a scanner and it alerts any objects that it could get stuck on. Like it can't ever get stuck in between something because it analyzes how high it is. So I don't have to always be resituating it. So I'm gonna click on Eva right here and it's gonna show the map of our house. When I first got her, she went out and scanned the whole entire house. That way, I can direct her to what room I want her to go, and she knows exactly where that room is. So you can see where she's at in the house. Always keep an eye on where she's at. Virtual walls are little lines that you put up in places that you don't want her to go. This chair right here is Mike's office, so I made a little barricade around that chair so that she doesn't go in there. And I don't like her going under the girl's bed, so I put little blocks here for the beds. So right here you can section off all the rooms. So I can say, Eva, go clean room one, and she'll go vacuum it and take care of that. Okay, here's something that I really like. I can select one room or multiple rooms for her to go vacuum. I have her scheduled to vacuum the entire house at 8 p.m. And then when I wake up in the morning, the house is nicely vacuumed. This morning, I woke up, the kids were already up getting into food. There were crumbs all over the floor and I was thinking, oh, we gotta like, we gotta vacuum all this up now. Beep, nope, Eva's gonna do this. I'm just gonna get some coffee. And then we have area. So this is cool, because I can pick on any area in the house and I can zoom, make any size of this and tell her I want that area clean. So when she hit carpet, she automatically switches to vacuum mode. And then when she got off the carpet, she went into sweeping mode. So we have a German Shepherd and they shed a lot. So there's always hair somewhere on the floor, in the kids' room, and it's so nice that I can just have this vacuum do detailed sweeping and vacuuming and mopping on a daily basis. So if you are interested in knowing a little bit more about this vacuum, I will leave a link in the description and you can go check it out there. Today was a little overwhelming. I got a taste of what it's gonna be like this whole year, adding a fourth kid into the school year. It, it seems like a lot at first. I know that once I get a system down and figure out how to work together with all the kids, I think it might, it'll go by a lot smoother, um, but always the first week of school is just a lot to take in. I know that I just need to take this all one day at a time and we are gonna be so busy in this room for this year. <laughs> All right, that is it for today. We did a lot of school and we're all pretty exhausted. We're gonna do our nighttime reading and we just got this book. It's called Little Pilgrim's Progress and it's a really good story and because it says 
because it's Little Pilgrims, it's for like the younger kids to understand the story. But it is a really good book. I'll show you what the pictures. There's a lot of fun pictures in here that help tell the story of Pilgrim's Progress. So we decided to use this book for our nighttime reading. If you guys have read this book before, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. That is it for today. What do you think, Micah? Do you have anything to say? Put that like button for Micah! And we'll see you guys next Saturday. Yeah.